hairs and Big old shag bar keeper that's standing there. Look on the ground, see if I can find you a hickory knife. From it. Oops, here comes a guy. A couple horseback riders, I'm gonna get off the trail for him. <laughs> Morning, how you doing? Not too bad yourself. All right. Got the mules out today, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Oh, oh, here, look. I'll back away from you. We're all right. Hey. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey. I don't, I don't want, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm a horseback rider, so I understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's usually they're a little green. They'll get used to it though. Alrighty, have a good one guys. That was pretty interesting. That's when they're not seasoned yet, they're right on the Preferably you want to uh, I don't want to say expert rider, what am I looking for? A, 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 an experienced rider riding them. So. To, like you know when you first start training them and stuff or you may train them you know at the house and then you take them out on the trail and that's totally different to them and they'll well, well you seem like that one it's boot I think it's boot because of my camera so that's why you know back the way back the way they're their uh, instinct is to run from danger. So, so, I, so I backed away, and that shows that that uh, that uh, that I'm not not uh, after it. It usually helps it calms it down. So. Well, there it is. I did see a couple of riders and riding on my went in horses, but they were mules. So you was a breed between a donkey and a horse. I think it's a male donkey to a, a mare or a female horse. <laughs> Got a little, I guess you'd call this more of a Walkway within a boardwalk. I don't know what you more of a little walkway than a bridge. Spot where the get you over the mud. Yeah, 
Uh, here we go. We're and there's a beech tree right there. It's just a little one, but there's a beech tree. A little walkway, I guess. Call it. Okay. Coming up on a cemetery here. I remember seeing the I have a sign showing it was the road, it was a road to a cemetery. I don't know what cemetery it is. I don't see a sign. They should put a sign back here. So. No, I could walk around maybe and look. Maybe I get back out to the road. I can uh, check it out and see what it is. And I do know it said, wrote said, that just cemetery use only. So, so imagine that's it there. Coming up on a big, huge pine here. Look at that. Pretty, pretty views. Going through the Jungle part of the trail. And as you hear, we're still not too far from the road. Batch of pines. I'm sure if I'm not, oops. I'm sure if I wanted to search in here, I could probably find some fat wood in, in this. Yeah. Look at that. I say that's probably fat wood right there. Yep, well I've got plenty of fat wood so maybe when I get down here again I'll cut a piece off.
No ho ho. I don't know, but it is. Not officially finishes up the Grub Ridge Trail for me. So, well, this is the way I gotta go. I wasn't planning on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into. Oops. I'm gonna forgot to walk this. I'm gonna go ahead and go into. Uh, Blackwell Campground and take me a little break. I wasn't going to, but I'm making real good time. Uh, let me see. Uh, it probably took me approximately about an hour and a half to two hours to walk from the uh, Grub Ridge Trail head to here, so so I'm making real good time, and that's about two thirds of the hiking I got to do. So I'm um, go ahead, and I'm just going to go in here to uh, Blackwell Campground and uh, take me a little break. Get me a little snack, go to the bathroom and stuff, and then I'll get back with you.